Hello everyone. Welcome to Sabre Virtual Demo, our brief videos explaining different features of PrintViz and related products. In this video, we're going to look at estimating wide format using PrintViz. From my role center, let's start a brand new case and add our customer. We can, of course, assign our, cust our contact for the customer. And down here, we're going to place our order type, which is this one is, of course, wide format. And selecting under our product groups, we'll put this under displays. And we'll give it a name for our project. There we go. And let's just start our job line. So the customer has requested 10 of two different versions, pages, and the size is 18.25 by 37.75 inches. And we'll run this in our full six color format. Now that our job line is done, let's go to our job card and we'll create the component sheet. Now I could add multiple components if this is required for this job. In this one, we just have the one, but of course I can create multiples. So now we're gonna go over here and under our quality, let's filter for our digital vinyls out of our material selections. This could be automatically set by the product group if I choose to set it up that way. And from here, let's see our list. And let's put this on the 3M product down here. And now we just have to assign our printing machine. And there's my list combination in my company of both litho presses and wide format machines. In this case, our HP 1000 for sheets or rolls. We're going to do this under rolls today. And then we can assign some finishing with some automation. I can add each one individually, or I can set a um, pre-filtered grouping list. So we're going to have a laminate and a flat bag cutting on this one. These are surcharges, gives me options for my zoomed cutter. If it's creasing or kiss cut, it changes the timing for setups on the heads. And I basically got my quote almost finished. Let's just take a look at our estimate format. So the first thing is we have a little bit of desktop work. It's calculated for the two versions. But in this case, I happen to know we've got some little bit of extra work, so I want to add an hour. That's now been calculated. I can go under here and under my HP printing. Um, in this case, there was a note from the sales rep indicating that the customer would like this run in full high resolution, which of course, if you look at the speed rating down here of about 150 feet per hour, we set that and it now slows the machine down, which increases our pricing which is what we want. If we go to a laminate, we can quickly just add customer wanted this in a mat today. So we'll add a mat laminate. And now we can just go down to our flatbed. And for our zoom cutter, we have the option of setting this up so that we have a difficulty factor of our cutting. I'm just going to add this. So from zero to three, three being the hardest and um, I'm just going to set this at a level two, which will change my shape factor, multiply my distance to represent the extra cutting involved because it's a silhouette. Now I've got a more accurate estimate of my time. And there's my pricing and I can just finish this off. Let's go back and there's my quantity. Let's say the customer requested a couple different quantities. I can go here and set this to 15 each of the two or 20 each of the two. You can see it's already recalculated all my values. I'm just going to go down here. I'm going to set this as what we call an alternative so that I can map these on my quote. And I just go and change this to a estimate quote status, which will assign my quote number. And I can now just generate a quick estimate. There we go. You can see it's all three quantities or all the prices are spelled out. I can have this loaded into an email and sent off to my customer but I'm basically done now. Thank you for watching our videos. Please follow our channel by clicking here or click here for more great videos. We look forward to seeing you next time. Bye for now.